here with track and field head coach Joe Campagni to talk about this weekend, which is the NEC Outdoor Track and Field Championships. Coach, you've worked you know numerous weeks. You've had a lot of training, a lot of practices. How does it feel to finally get to this point in the season? It feels great. You know, we're really excited for this weekend. Uh, we're excited to be able to host again. The outdoor season, you're always looking for good weather, and you're trying to make the most of the weekends that you have, and you're trying to get better from week to week. Uh, and I feel like we've done that. Uh, and now the NECs is here, so we're, we're excited to get it started. So you've won you know, 10 titles on one side, 9 titles on the other since 1998. How does it feel to be able to bolster such a strong team every year? Uh, you know, that's what we like to do, and that's what we want to do. I think one of the things we have to remember is that what we did last year or five years ago or eight years ago doesn't help us this weekend. Um, it's nice to have that tradition, uh, but we have to start from scratch every year, and we have to realize that... Uh, we have to be ready to go and, and that the conference is as good or better than ever this year. So you have a lot of seniors on the team. You know, you have Ford Palmer, you have Amanda Eller, Emily McEwen, all these people that have been here for the past four years. What does it mean to you and what does it mean to them to be able to go out with a great season that they've had so far? It means a lot. It means a lot. Our, four, our seniors the last few years have done a nice job of being good leaders for us. This year's seniors have been tremendous as far as being good leaders for us. Uh, I think our underclassmen really want to uh, give them a good chance to uh, to go out with uh, with another great championship and really to any season or other postseason meets for them to be successful and for us to um, have Monmouth have a great showing. So you've had a lot of you know ECAC and IC4A qualifiers and even in the past couple of weeks a couple NCAA junior division and a lot of national division you know first round qualifiers right. to be able to field those so early in the season and continue that trend throughout the season. What does it mean to you as a coach to be able to see your team evolve over the weeks of the season that's what we hope happens you know we knew we had some great freshmen so we do have I believe four right now five junior national qualifiers which is the most we've ever had uh, the first round of NCAAs is in three weeks and we have a good group that should make it there uh, so we want to get to this point of the season healthy and strong and then we want to get into the championship meets and really you know do some great things when we get there so with this meet coming up, are you hoping to solidify a lot more postseason qualifiers, or are you just you know, kind of at that point where you're like, all right, this is the last meet of the season, let's go out with a bang, and let's just hope for the best? Yeah, I think for a lot of our team, this is their last meet of the season. You know, For the bulk of the team, they won't all qualify for ECACs or IC4As or NCAAs or anything else. So as a team, this is our last weekend together, and it's nice that it's here at home. You know? Are you excited that it's here at home, and are you excited that you're at this point of the season? Yes, absolutely. You know, we love hosting. We get great support on campus. We're hoping a lot of people are going to come out this weekend to see the meet, and uh, it's always good to be comfortable and be on in your facility. So since it's the conference meeting, it's the conference championships, throughout the season you haven't really faced a lot of these teams. Are you expecting a lot of different looks or a lot of you know, unique types of competition with this particular meet? You know, I think that the conference meet is its own animal. Even some of the folks that you see during the season, uh, everyone's doing different things different weekends. So when you get to the conference championships, you know that that's the one that all 12 of the NEC teams are shooting for and that they want to put their, put their best effort forward. So that's what we're expecting. That's what we expect from our team, and that's what we're expecting from everybody else. Are you hoping to get that fifth consecutive championship on either side, or are you just kind of hoping that your team just goes out there and competes well? You know, I really want us to compete well. Obviously, uh, winning the conference meet is a goal for us, but I think we have to focus on competing well and being together as a team and competing well and executing what we do. I think that's going to be the key to having a successful weekend. Do you feel that your team is prepared and ready to tackle the gauntlet that is the NEC championship? I do. I do. I think that they're, they're ready for action. Uh, I think they're, they're excited. And, uh, and we're looking forward to the challenge. And I know it's going to be a big challenge because we're not the only team that's ready this weekend. I know some others are very ready also.